What's up, gamers? I'm John. This is my level up news, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Friday, March 1st, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. How Diver 2 players are always looking for cool ways to play the game. Some players have mapped micro keys to stratagems to do their inputs automatically at the press of a button. Some say that this is cheating, but it looks cool. It's all in all fun. This one player I'm showing you guys has it on the stream deck, and he has it attached to his arm with coals on it. To me, it reminds me of the Nintendo Power Blow. Comment down below in your thoughts on this. GameStop has a cool article for books and Blu-rays for Final Fantasy VII. Since it's launched for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, there are many deals out there if you are in the Final Fantasy VII world and need more of it. Final Fantasy VII Advent Children 4K Blu-ray Complete Edition is on sale for $20 on Amazon. Want some story that leads up to Advent Children? Then pick up the book Final Fantasy VII On The Way To A Smile for $11.88. And they also have another book that tells us the story of Tifa and Aerith before the events of the original game. There are many more deals going on and I'll have the GameSpot link posted in the description below. With all the complaints that Diablo 4 has been getting for the way that the loot system works, it looks like things might be changing soon. According to PC Gamer, they already work on the loot system and they are excited about it. So excited in fact that they want you to play test it early in a public test realm or PTR for short. This way, if you play it, you can give feedback and they will use it for future seasons. Personally, I think it's a great idea. The only question is that if you get to keep the loot or lose it once you leave that PTR. Comment with your thoughts below. Camelot Unchained has been in development for more than a decade. They have raised $2.2 million on Kickstarter 11 years ago and now they finally have a release date. The game is an MMO successor to the old Dark Age of Camelot MMO. The game is set to come out in 2025 by the end of the year and it will be an early access. Let's hope the game does release and they finally get to show what they've been working on. Eyes up Guardian, we're going back to the future. Two things I never thought I would say, but it looks like Destiny 2 will be bringing back to the future like hoverboards and you can use them instead of your sparrow. Destiny has been on a weird loop this past year due to all the layoffs and setbacks they have had at Bungie. But let's be honest, this looks pretty dope to see even with all the bad stuff going on in the company. Let's see if they can still bring a smile for the little things that they do for the community. And Kotaku has a great article to help players of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The article tells you 16 things you should know about the game before you start. From open world not starting until Chadley shows up, to knowing that autosave doesn't autosave every 5-10 to 10 minutes like other games do. Kotaku has what you need to be ready to take on everyone and everything in Rebirth. I'll post the article down below. Now with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.